There are hundreds of editing softwares that say they are free, but some of them leave a nasty watermark slapped across the face of your glistening, shiny new project that you just spent all of your hard time and effort to put together. And the only way to remove that mark is to spend money. The hard truth is, most video creators starting out don't have hundreds of dollars to spend on Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut. But, 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 there's a better way. DaVinci Resolve has so many features just jam-packed into it that it blows other free editing softwares out of the water. And one of these features that I personally like as an editor is called the Inspector. The Inspector allows for the editor to inspect a clip and make fine-tuned changes to elements such as the volume, the cropping, the speed change, and even add an animated feature to the clip. Resolve is built for almost any project that you need to work on, whether that's some simple visual effects, a movie, or even a YouTube tutorial. Basically, whatever project that you're working on, Resolve gets the job done and more. One of my absolute favorite features of DaVinci Resolve is its amazing color correction page. In fact, that's one of the main things that DaVinci Resolve is known for. It can turn an absolutely terrible shot like this into something like this. A huge difference, right? It's pretty much the Bob Ross paint palette of the editing world. This page can give such a professional look to your videos. Whether you're correcting an action fight scene or dramatic sunset, you can use color correction to add feel to your videos and express emotion on screen. Editing takes a lot of time to watch, cut, and rewatch your videos. And Resolve has a really nice feature called metadata to help you with this. Imagine you just moved across the country to an apartment and you need to organize this stuff. So you start fresh and put names on bins, labeling them by type. Well, that is pretty much what metadata does. It is a very efficient way to organize videos and then to go back through them later in the cut page. The cut page in DaVinci Resolve makes editing super efficient and easy too. Being able to double click on the video, select your ins and outs, and insert it right into the timeline, which is another method that other big editing softwares use as well. This page also has a nice feature, which allows you to look at the entire timeline at once, which is nice if you're editing something like a small project or a YouTube short. Blackmagic Design has been upgrading their DaVinci Resolve software to be more compatible and efficient with the new Apple M1 chip products. They have added new Fusion GPU accelerated VFX, which include better color enhancements, noise reduction, and etc. This software with the new M1 chip products has no problem exporting a mild 1080p project with minimal VFX and some color grading. In little to no time, you receive a steaming hot video fresh out of the oven loaded up with cheese and sausage and all the gooey goodness. And, you wanna know the best part about this is? It's completely free. Absolutely free. It is amazing what the software can do, even without its paid version. Now, for those of you that are wanting to export at, you know, I'd say 32K resolution at 120 frames a second, wants distortion correction, advanced noise reduction, and even Python coding capabilities within the DaVinci Resolve software, then I recommend you get the paid version, which for a paid version, isn't a bad price at all, ringing up at a whopping $300, which is pretty much the exact same for Final Cut, which is a one-time purchase. Same thing with DaVinci Resolve, by the way, but that's only if you want the paid version. You can get around a lot of things having just only the free version. I haven't ran into any problems yet, other than a few crashes of the software. In fact, I am seeing more and more YouTubers switching from Premiere Pro or Final Cut to DaVinci Resolve because they are noticing of how powerful this software is and noticing what they've been missing out on. Now, now, if you're excited to get started with the software and don't know where to begin, I am making free tutorials right here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.